Chimena. Ay, ay. Me cae. Wow. I look so exhausted. <laughs> I am. <laughs> The Dinawa and the sisters, they always, you know, they, they trend carefully when they're supposed to deal with matters with their dad. The next project that I have on the go, it's very nerve-wracking, the thought of having to speak to my dad about the result of my sex life, because ultimately that's what a pregnancy is. Well, I have a second child on the go as a project. What does it mean? That means I did a pregnancy test and it came out positive. So you are expecting a baby? That we demand from you to tell us who's responsible. There's something that we need to do as family to begin to initiate responsibility for the pregnancy. That's the dictator of culture, African culture. So we should have representatives from our side dispatched there to report the pregnancy. My dad's usually quite a happy-go-lucky person, but he's very firm where culture is concerned, where our traditions are concerned. Now, you, you need to understand the dynamics of this culture. You know, having a child, the second child, out of wedlock, that doesn't sit good on me because it's a responsibility. It's not easy to raise kids by yourself. Should it be that you are not married, as you are not married presently, any man who makes you pregnant will report to their family. That is a damage in terms of culture. Then we will have to go and report that, and they will give us the direction of their relationship. Where is it going? Now, I'm saying this because the first time that process never took place. Obviously, this is my second child out of wedlock. Culturally, I'm like, uh, the dirty demon. Who's responsible for this pregnancy? I'm sure it's not the same guy. No. No. It's just scary. It's just really, really scary because it's all too much. It's all quite soon, and it's just very personal. Do you want a brother or a sister? I can. <laughs> I love you. See you soon. Oh. <laughs> I have not been feeling well at all today. This flu has been giving me havoc. Did you buy meds? <coughs> no. I can't really take meds. Can't or won't? Well, I just, I can't really take meds. Do you know? Mm hmm? Okay. I just can't really take meds. What do you mean you can't take meds? You know, it's been acting real weird. Real strange. Can we drop it with the meds talk? I honestly, I, I can't call it. I don't know. What am I missing here? I thought you were sick. It's not even for me. I'm not, I don't need meds. I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know why. Why are you being so difficult? You're being so stubborn. I don't know what's going on. Please tell me why you won't take the meds. What's that? It's supposed to give you an indication of why I can't take the meds. Maybe you just keep quiet and ponder on that. What am I going to do with a cokey pet? What's this? That's a home pregnancy test, Liz. The reason why I can't take the meds, as I said, it's a medical situation. Right now, we are kind of like somewhat pregnant and I can't take the meds. Do you have any reason, what, any idea what you just told me? You, you're telling me that we're going to have a child. A home pregnancy test. No one's verified it. Just a little stick that was made by someone else. 
that's telling us that we're pregnant. What if I go out there and tell everybody, oh, I'm celebrating, and I get myself in that mood, and then it turns out that she's not pregnant. So at this present moment, I'm in the corridor of uncertainty. I don't know how to feel. All I do know is that we need to find out. Will you let him Can I say? Okay, will you let Just you. I wish you would have told me that. I haven't told the world. I told my mom. And my dad knows. Your dad knows. I was with them today, and like parents talk, their husband and wife, they talk. She wouldn't keep it from him. I think this is this will sort of answer a lot of questions on our minds. If it's legit, you know, I got this. If we are pregnant, if, if we are, if the cookie pen is right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm can't take it. I can't take this thing seriously, I can't. It's a wee-wee stick and you opened it no. and you took no. my wee-wee no. stick. Look, I'm, honestly, I don't know how, what I'm feeling right now. I don't want to get my hopes up. And then we go to the guy and he's a different story. So if we are pregnant, we're in this together. Okay? I got your back, you got mine. I've never had a kid before. I started with this course you now. Looks so gangster. I'm being serious. <laughs> I'm being, being serious. serious. I don't think you can ever be fully ready for a kid, but I think somehow we are, as complicated as life is right now, from a professional point of view, from a personal point of view. I think we're good. I think we're, we're I, I, I'd rate us as ready. I think we are.